Hey guys, it's Tamman doing what I love, and welcome back to another episode of the 2020 NFL Weekly Predictions. Last episode we did week 6, and today we'll be doing week 7. But first, let's go over week 6, where I went 10 and 4 in my predictions. I did pretty good here in terms of the AFC. The only game I got incorrect was the Broncos game, as the Broncos got a nice upset over Cam Newton and New England. But besides that, the Steelers had a dominating win. Phil Rivers and the Colts had a nice comeback. What a game here between the Texans and Titans. And then the Chiefs and Dolphins both got a win. I was 2-for-2 two two on AFC versus NFC games. Lions got a win. And then the Ravens beat the Eagles. Eagles try to come back. But the Baltimore Ravens beat the Philadelphia Eagles in the 10-man ball. Glad it was a really fun and exciting game. NFC, I did get a couple ones incorrect. I predicted the Panthers to win over Chicago, but they did not get the upset. But the Falcons did over the Vikings, so I did, kind of for my 10-man upset of the week, I did get that one correct. However, the Buccaneers beat the Packers. I did not see that coming. It was, I thought it was going to be closer. The Buccaneers' defense is just fantastic. And the Niners won, uh, you know, George Kittle and crew looked back, but... I did have the Cardinals winning, and they won big time against the Cowboys on Monday Night Football. And that's going to transition because Dallas is a team in the NFC, NFC East, and the first game of Week 7 is an NFC East duel between the New York Giants and Philadelphia Eagles. Both of these teams have one win. However, I think the Eagles just match up really good against the Giants. Their D-line is pretty nice, and I think the Giants' offensive line has struggled. This is Daniel Jones's, I believe, his first time as a Giants starter playing in Philly. Um, and I just think that this Eagles defense is going to have a nice game. Also, Con Car Carson Wentz is getting into a nice groove. The Eagles have a lot of players coming back from injuries. Um, I just really like the Eagles in this game. I think it will be very scrappy, like Philly wins 23-10 to 10 or something like that. But I have the Eagles winning at home. Really excited for this. Detroit Lions Atlanta Falcons game. Matthew Stafford, Matt Ryan, two quarterbacks who are very underrated. Both my friend Ben and I agree that you know these are two underrated guys who could be in the Hall of Fame one day. So you have that really cool matchup, and these are two offenses who have been fun to watch. I read a stat somewhere like the past couple matchups between the Lions and Falcons have been decided by seven points or fewer. I think this will be a close game. I'm just going with um. Atlanta. Um, I think that, you know, the Lions have been good running the ball with DeAndre Swift, the rookie running back. But their secondary, I think, sh really struggles. And I think that's where Matt Ryan and Cleo Jones can be effective in this passing game. I think it'll be a really fun game. I just like the Falcons coaching staff a lot more. more, And I think they got a really nice win over the Vikings. I don't think that was a fluke win. I think it'll at least be close. And I have Atlanta winning. Um, Cowboys Washington here, two teams that have struggled this season. I think this will be a very close game, like 16 to 13, but I'm going to give the Washington football team the edge here. The reason is the front is the best part of their team, and the Cowboys offensive line really struggled. So I think that um, the Washington football team will win. Kyle Allen has also impressed me. There's been some disconnect here with the Cowboys, that's the reports. Even if that's not the case, I still like Washington in this matchup. And we have a lot of division games this week. We've already had two. Now we have two more as we have the Saints. I think they beat the Panthers. I like the Panthers. But as I said in the Man to Man Coach podcast, this is just a young team. Sometimes they're going to get good wins. Sometimes they're going to lose. And I think this is a loss. Drew Brees, Alvin Kamara. I think they're just going to... Emmanuel Sanders, there's a lot of veterans on this Saints team that I think they'll just win and match up better against the Panthers. Cardinal Seahawks, it's going to move to Sunday night here. Really excited. Kyle Murray, Russell Wilson, two quarterbacks have been really fun to watch. However, I think the Seahawks keep the undefeated streak alive. Kyle Murray has impressed me, but he's inconsistent. I just think Russell Wilson is more consistent. I know the Seahawks defense has struggled, but Pete Carroll seems to do pretty well against Arizona at Arizona, so I give the Seahawks a win, but I think it'll be really close and fun, and then Monday night here, um, Bears and Rams, really excited for this one, um, the Bears defense is nice, I just think that the Rams match up really well, I think Sean McVay is 
going to do well against this Bears defense. I know he has struggled in the past, but I think he overcomes that hump, and I think that the defense, you know, Jalen Ramsey can take away Allen Robinson, you know, Aaron Donald. I just like the Rams. I think it'll be close, but I'm going with L.A., and that means all three night games this week are going to be NFC matchups. Let's go to AFC versus NFC. I am really excited for this Packers-Texans game, even before the schedule were released. You know, Aaron Rodgers versus Deshaun Watson, two quarterbacks who are just amazing at making plays um, outside the pocket when plays break down. I could see this going either way. Um, the thing is, is that Deshaun Watson and Houston have just been playing really good. However... So is Aaron Rodgers. I know he had an off week, but one thing Rodgers does really well is he bounces back. I think that the Packers' defense is a bit better than the Texans. I think this will be a really close game when that comes down to the wire. I could see the Texans getting a home win, but I just like the Packers' defense more than Houston, and I think Green Bay wins. Also, really another exciting game, Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers versus Cam Newton and the Patriots. Garoppolo's first time playing the Patriots. Kyle Shanahan, great offensive mind against Bill Belichick, great defensive mind, so you have offense, defense. I'm going with New England here. I just think that Bill Belichick has the defense to shut down this Kyle Shanahan offense. Um, I think, you know, the Patriots were off, but I think some of that was due to not being able to practice. I just think that the Patriots have a nice bounce back game. I think Cam is going to be able to have a really nice game against the San Francisco defense. And you know that has struggled this season. Um, and I think that the Patriots are going to get a home win. Buccaneers, Raiders. I'm really excited for this game. You know, John Gruden used to uh, be the head coach of um, Tampa Bay. So there's a bit of history there. Tom Brady in Las Vegas. I'm going with Tom Brady. This Buccaneers defense is just insane. <laughs> Being honest, and I just really like the matchup. I like Las Vegas. I know they beat the Chiefs, but I don't want to be too overreactionary. And I think that's something I'm trying not to do here. Yes, the Patriots lost and the Raiders won, but I think a lot of that was due to just a division game for the Raiders getting that win and not practicing for New England. So I think um, the Patriots are going to win and the Raiders are going to lose. I think the Buccaneers defense just matches up well. The Raiders are a nice team. I, I just think the Buccaneers are better. AFC versus AFC here. Um, these, for me, we've had a, we're going to have a lot of fun games this week. A lot of close games. This, These games are a bit easier for me to predict. Browns, Bengals, um, I, you know, Miles Garrett and this defensive line are just going to pressure Joe Burrow all day. I know Baker Mayfield, they had an off day. I just think that the Browns are going to come back here and get a really nice win over Cincy. The Bills are going to beat the Jets, and I think the Steelers beat the Titans. Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill are playing really good, but I think the Steelers' defense, their D-line, the front, TJ Watt, they have the pieces to shut down Derrick Henry. This game's finally getting played. I think it'll be really close and exciting. I, I just like Pittsburgh. Um, I think the Chiefs beat the Broncos. They've done really well, well against them, and Drew Locke. I like uh, some of the throws he made against the Patriots, but there's also some I didn't. And I think the Chargers here beat the Jaguars. Both teams have one win, but the Chargers, I think, have been playing a lot better. Justin Herbert's doing really well. I think he could have the best game of the, his season so far against this Jacksonville defense. I like Gardner Minshew, but this team, I just don't think, is on the right path to win right now. That is my predictions for this week. A lot of really fun, exciting games here. Have some upsets, but let's do the fantasy preview here. So in my league, I got a nice win last week here. Um, I am now 3-3, three and three, so I'm going to start Cam Newton, um, James Robinson, I will start Mike Davis against the Saints, um, I'm trying to see if there's anyone else, Julio Jones is questionable, I really like T. Higgins, John New Smith, this Rams defense, I do need to get a new kick, I'll probably do that off screen, I do like the Rams defense, I'm almost thinking up of just picking up the Bills defense, since they play the Jets, but... Like I said, a good variety of players here. C.D. Lamb, I do think Washington will win, but I could see him having a, a nice game. Um, yeah, the Vikings are in a bye week. So that is that um, league. I can see either of this team like getting a lot of points and not a lot of points. I think it's, uh, there's a lot of boom or bust here, but I'm, you know, I've been a bit more, I guess you could say, risky in this league. And then my other one here... Um, I did lose. Um, I'm now two and four. 
Um, I do need to fix this team. I don't have a current running back here. We are going to start Devin, Devin Singletary. Um, I don't have a tight end. I thought I did. Um, we are going to start Chase Claypool here. Um, I think I, we're going to bench Cooper Cup. This Bears defense is really good. Um, wait, hold on. Where did my running back go? James Robinson. No, wait, what, hold on. What the heck? Okay. There we go. I don't know what was happening. I am going to pick, pick up a tight end. A lot of players here in this Jaguars, Chargers, and Titans Steelers game. I'm hoping they do well. DJ Chark, I actually think I might bench him. Well, he's been good, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep him here. Tower Rocket against Arizona. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is it. And that's going to do it for this video of predictions. Overall, this one, Tame and Doing Well. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good day. Take care.